In recent weeks, I've watched multiple videos on military aircrafts, especially on fighter jets. That is why I chose it for the topic of my next Blender project. My idea was to have multiple F-35 jets fly in formation and then one by one roll into a dive. As I did on previous projects, I gave myself the challenge of completing this whole idea in just one day. To achieve that, I could not model the whole plane myself, so I went online and found this model for free. It isn't really detailed enough for close-ups, but I could always add details myself if needed. In Blender, I first had to adjust the model to my needs. Closing all flaps, removing the armature, changing the glass shader and fixing other stuff on the model. I then tried animating the plane rolling into a dive. This was quite hard for me, since I'm not really animating that often. I first tried it with simple keyframes and later with a curve. I then went back to the keyframe workflow, since it seemed easier to me. It was then a matter of playing the animation over and over, while adjusting the keyframes in the graph editor. I also tried duplicating the jet and offsetting the animation to see what it might look like with multiple jets. To get a feel of the environment, I started experimenting with that by trying out different HDRIs. I then loaded in an image of some clouds, which I put in the background. Initially, I had the idea to create some volumetric clouds myself and put them in the foreground, though I quickly realized that I could not get them to look realistic enough. Also, they increased the render time dramatically, so I removed them again. To have the overall light match the background image more closely, instead of using an HDRI, I created a sphere, scaled it way up and used the same image with an emission shader. I also created a big plane and made it darker and placed it underneath the scene outside the camera view. This gave me control of how dark the underside of the plane would be. A technique I learned from Ian Hubert's latest Patreon video. As a last step, I added a sun lamp and did a test render. I then swapped through some other background images, but in the end stayed with the first one. Back to the animation. This was really the hardest part of this project, since I'm not that experienced in it. In the end, I did not have the plane go into a dive, since I could not get it to look realistic enough. Somewhat okay with animation, I duplicated the plane multiple times and offset the animation to create the formation. The planes looked too shiny, so I adjusted the roughness map with a color ramp. I then duplicated the plane a last time, removed all animations and placed it where the camera was. I wanted the camera to be placed inside the cockpit. To get some more space, I scaled up the plane a bit. The inside of the cockpit looked way too dark, since by default not enough light gets through the glass shader. So with some notes I fixed that. I then did another test render. As you can see, the pilot isn't really meant to be seen that close. So I separated him and put him into a new clean scene. There I redid the visor.
I also worked on his breathing tube, making it sub D and later adding a displacement map. A lot of details were too low poly, so with the bevel type set to percent, I fixed that. By also adding some depth of field to the camera, the pilot now looked much more realistic. The glass looked too clean for me, so I added a grunge map to the roughness map. I then also used it to mix in a diffuse shader, adding some black stains. As you can see on the render, the rest of the cockpit still looks flat and simple. So I added some bolts and other random details to make it look more realistic. For that I took inspiration from some real life cockpit. To texture this new geometry, I did a quick and dirty unwrap and placed it on the already existing textures. Since I knew this would be out of focus, I just made sure the overall color somewhat matched. To create energy behind the planes, I added heat distortion to the back by using a video of pressured steam as bump map for a refraction shader. I then placed it behind all the other planes, but making sure to offset the video clip. I then had the idea that the main plane also would roll to the side, by that hiding part of the other plane's animation. I created an empty and parented all the parts to it, then gave it the roll animation. Now the background image was not large enough. In Photoshop I extended it a bit, then blending it with another image. I was not too happy with the breathing tube, so I removed the displacement map and modeled in the details by hand. To get movement to the pilot, I added some bones and parented the mesh to it with automatic weights.
Now I could bring out my animation skills again. Here I heavily relied on the noise modifier to give me some random movement. I then also added some noise to the jet animations to have it look like they are actually flying. With Ian Hubert's camera Shakeify add-on, I added some easy movement to the camera. As a last step, I did an AI upscale of the background image to give it some more resolution and remove the noise. 20 hours of rendering later, here is the final animation. For just one day of work, I'm super happy with the result. I haven't done many animations, especially not in that short time frame. There is some stuff I would adjust if I would develop this idea further. For once, I have some mesh problems. Here for example I forgot to shade smooth. After adding the camera shake, a lot more of the breathing tube was visible than I initially thought. So I did not really add enough details far enough down, leaving me with this bigger end. Also, I don't like how the outside is refracted in the upper parts of the glass, so I would probably turn down the index of refraction on the glass shader a bit. As a last thing, I would work some more on the plane animations. Currently, it looks a bit boring. All in all, I'm super happy with the result and surprised how much you can actually achieve in just one day.